Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nagato's Revenge. Hope you guys are having an awesome Tuesday for today. For today's video, we're going to be talking about a new homebrew application that recently just hit the scene for the PlayStation Vita and also as well as the PS TV. And for today, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install the latest version of Auto Plugin 2, which is basically a new rendition of the original Auto Plugin homebrew application. Before we even get into the nitty gritty and the prerequisites and you know additional information, I do want to give a special thanks out to the D, uh, the hero GAC excuse me for giving me a opportunity to beta test this homebrew application when it was in its early beta stages before its initial release so thank you for that I really do appreciate it but with that being all out the way I do want to go ahead and state the prerequisites as of right now just like any of my other videos everything will be in the link in the description down below so first things first if you already have a modded PlayStation Vita that is already hacked whether if you're using the latest exploit which is H on core 2 or if you use using Hankaku 3.60, the Trinity, or H on Core original exploit. As long as your PlayStation Vita can run unsigned code, you're basically good to go for this method. Um, as long as you, between firmware 3.60 to 3.73, you can install this um, just fine. As well, you need a uh, Vita shell, or even you can use one menu to install the VPK. We're just gonna be using Vita shell today since uh, I'm assuming everyone already has that on their modded device. You also need, of course, the homebrew application we're talking about today, which is Auto Plugin 2 and you'll also need files of the FCB client or a USB charging cable um, depending on how you want to transfer your stuff over today but with that being all out the way we're gonna go ahead and get started on the PC side of things and as well as the Vita and just explain a little bit more about this homebrew application Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all of the steps as stated in the intro, we're good to go and we are ready to get started on the Vita side of things. Or if you're on a PlayStation TV, you could, you know, follow along as well. Of course, you need to be on a modded device as I stated in the intro and as well, you already need Vita Shell installed onto your uh, Vita. If you guys don't know how to install Vita Shell, I will have a link and also a card right now to showcase on how to do that. Um, and you'll see it pop up on your screen. But what we're going to do now is just go ahead and launch the Vita Shell application. Let me go ahead and back out from here. Once you're into uh, Vita Shell itself, what you need to do is hit start on your device. And what you need to do from here is uh, choose an option on how you're gonna transfer your files over today. Um, I do recommend always to use USB, but since for today I'm using my Vita to record this footage for you guys, and I have to basically have USB always on, I'm gonna be using the FTP uh, method. So if you're gonna be using FTP via with Wi-Fi, go ahead and select this. Or if you're gonna be using your USB charging cable and have that plugged in from your PC to your actual Vita itself, then you could go ahead and have it to USB. But assuming that you guys are going to be following my uh, method, you're just going to set yours to FTP. Once again, make sure your Wi-Fi is on. And then once your Wi-Fi is on, all you got to do is hit select onto your device. And then you should see your PlayStation Vita's IP address. So as of right now, what we're going to do is go to the PC. And then we're going to get auto plugin.vpk2 installed. So let's go to the PC. Alrighty guys, we're back onto my PC as showcased here. You can already see that I already have the auto plug in that VPK download and I will show you guys on where to get it. As well, I will have the actual download in the link in the description down below along with a pinned comment. So it's really easy for you guys to just follow along through this whole process guide. But what we're gonna do is open up Google Chrome and this is where I found the actual, um, you know, form or basically article link to this for auto plug in too. So I do wanna give a shout out to PSX Place and as well as Roxanne and also I want to give a shout out to the hero GAC as well as to the other people who like one LUA team who also worked with this but if you guys want to read more about auto plugin to um, see some of the update patch logs for it and I can read some to you now so with this build of auto plugin 2 you can set a custom warning you can also set a level of transparent you could also uh, set a custom image via on your brute uh, excuse me boot up screen you can 
could also install ITLS, Enzo, and also Battery Fixer VPK. You could also have updated plugins online. And for people who want to use uh, Auto Plugin 2 via in another language, since the official language to this, I guess it's English. But let's say if you're from Italy or you want to have like the Japanese or Chinese version, there's actual um, conversion translations that is utilized for you know other people around the world, if that makes any sense. But with that being getting all out the way, um, of course, I will have this article for you guys to read, but all you got to do is go into the GitHub right here and you can see more about what plugins that is, um, you know, actually within auto plugin too. So you got, you know, the typical ones from the flow. You also have no MPS and DRM. You also have PNG shot and just a bunch of other stuff. And I'll always will have the link in the description down below for this, but all we got to do is just go to the releases here and you can download the latest version, which is from two days ago. So yeah, as of March 1st, this was released, but all you got to do is just uh, click the download right here. Um, you can see that I already had it downloaded, but I already have it on my desktop, but that's all you would have to do. You would just have to go to your downloads folder, drag it to your desktop. But since I already have auto plugin.vpk here, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and transfer my file over and you got to do the same thing as of right now. So if you're doing this via with a USB cable, make sure to have your USB cable, of course, connected. If you're using the Wi-Fi method like me, all you got to do is just go into files of the FTP client and type in your Vita's IP address. So I will have probably a card right now on the left hand side to show you guys what I mean. Uh, so my IP will of course be different from yours, but all you would have to do is just go ahead and type the actual port as well, which is 1337 and then hit quick connect. Make sure your Vita is still on and has unsafe homebrew. You should see all of your Vita's directories and where we're gonna be transferring this to is UX0. So all you gotta do is transfer it to here. It shouldn't take too long. Um, it'll probably take a second on your, uh, when you're doing this via with a USB cable, but it's only nine megabytes. So as showcased here, everything has successfully transferred over. If we go to my successful uh, transfer folder tab right here, if I can talk today, you can see it's successfully uh, transferred over. Just to verify again, we're going to UX0. You can see that auto plugin to the VPK is here and you can tell by the date. This is, you know, the actual file we just transferred over. Now that you transfer over auto plugin not VPK2, all you gotta do is go back to your PlayStation Vita and then get this set up. So I'm gonna show you guys my Vita as of right now. Alrighty, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita itself. We could go ahead and cancel out the FTP server. We're also gonna go to UX0, AKA our memory cards, and we're gonna install auto plugin.2. So let's go ahead and install the latest version of auto plugin that to VPK. And I'm just going to be showcasing a little overview of it. I'm not really going to be showcasing on, uh, you know, too much of it since it's pretty much the same as the original auto plugin, not VPK. However, there are some new renditions and the UI itself has kind of a newer user interface. But once this is fully uh, successfully done, um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. So, yeah. I'm just waiting for it to hit 99% as of right now. Sometimes VBKs can take a little longer to install depending on how many excuse me, applications you have on your Vita. So just waiting for it to be finished as of right now. All right, so it's all done. All we gotta do is exit back out of Vita Shell. We can close it by hitting circle onto our device. You can see that auto plugin two is now here on our live area. You can see this is the earliest version, which is 1.0 since it released literally two days ago. And here is actual auto plugin itself, auto plugin two. Um, it will already, if you already have basically auto plugin, the original one, it will still create a backup files or basically a backup config.txt. But this is how auto plugin two looks like. Um, you can see that in the settings, you can have download available languages. So if you wanted to download Spanish, uh, French or any other stuff for any other languages for support, you can as well. And probably once, um, you know, the other translative or, you know, translated developers, they'll probably take a look at this as well. You can also enable auto update, which I do recommend. So every time you don't have to install a new VPK, what will happen once they have uh, the new update on their servers, uh, the, it will trigger on your Vita and you will always have the latest plugins. Um, if I go into the extras 
folder right here. Um, you can see that you can download and install Battery Fixer. You can also download and install ITLS Enzo. You can also have some custom configs for PKG, uh, PKGJ. I don't have it installed, so that's why it gave me that little Lua error or that little script error, I believe. But if we go into plugins for Vita, I can install plugins, uninstall, configure plugins for STD Vita, check for plugin updates. But as showcased here, you can see which updates I already have installed onto my device. Um, I have adrenaline. And I have everything installed onto UX0 for this process. Um, I don't have many plugins on this particular Vita since I don't use this one as much since this is the one I have docked. But um, yeah, you can see here it has all of your favorite plugins that you normally would have on auto plugin, the original version. You can see I already have UCTC by Therapy, and this is what I'm recording right, right now. I also have um, just general other plugins and it's so simple on how to install plugins. All you would have to do is hit X over it and then basically once you hit x over your plugins all you would have to do is just um you know restart your vita and your plugins should work just fine but if i go into triangle right here you actually could get a read uh, excuse me read me for some files i'm not too sure if it's um you know dependent on the actual developer itself but you can see here uh for this plugin which is called i guess dumping account id so yeah from cure virus it'll tell you a little more about it itself plus the developer and just any uh, general information also as well you have plugins for uh, PSP so if you wanted to install MPDRM free uh, you know content for your PlayStation 1 or PSP titles via with adrenaline you can uh, if you want to have remaster controls so like let's say if you want to use double analog sticks which i highly recommend if you're trying to use that for kingdom heart to make the game you know much more playable since if you guys know the original psp it didn't have double analog sticks but yeah so it still has all your favorite support for your vita your psp and includes some extra plugins but with that being all out the way this is auto plugin 2 hopefully i gave you guys a general overview and i did teach you guys on how to set this up successfully if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to share please be sure to leave a like but with that being all i went or excuse me all out the way my name is nagato and i'll see you guys next time peace hey everyone it's me nagato's adventure hope you guys did enjoy today's video with that being out the way as well i highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well is another method on how you will know when i drop my latest content whether it be for the vita ps4 ps3 and such and so forth as well if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace